Cheese. You've heard of the Canadian Strategic Reserve of Maple Syrup. Now get ready for the American Strategic Reserve of Cheese. That's right, in Springfield, Missouri, hundreds of feet underground lay 1.4 billion pounds of cheese built up through subsidies by the US government. I'm getting so tired of it all. Every time I talk about this, people think I'm insane, but it's real. It's fucking real. Everybody wants to act like America doesn't have cheese. All they think we have are craft singles and waxed bullshit. But the cheese caves are real, and they're full of real legitimate cheese. Cheddar, Brie, Gouda, Swiss, the US dollar is a cheese-backed currency. And we have so much of it, they're running out of space in the cheese caves to put it all. By the way, the Cheese Cave in Missouri has an area of about 2 million square feet, which is about 40 football fields total and it still wasn't big enough. It all started in 1977 when dairy prices fall by about 30% in five years. Then President Jimmy Carter instituted a policy which bought all extra dairy from farmers to make sure they didn't go bankrupt. The problem was this incentivized the farmers to produce as much milk as possible. Realizing what they had done, the government had no choice but to convert all the dairy they had bought into cheese for its shelf life. And by 1981, the government had accumulated around 500 million pounds of unguarded cheese. With the cheese building up in the cheese caves, and with space running out, the government was left with no choice once again. They had to start giving it away, and thus we had government cheese. Yes, government cheese was real, and you can find it in food banks, community centers, school cafeterias, and so forth. Mainly and so forth. But the government couldn't give away cheese fast enough. So the government started sponsoring ad campaigns to get more people interested in milk and cheese, so they, the government, wouldn't have to buy so much cheese. This is where you see ad campaigns like Got Milk and the government-sponsored Taco Bell Double Steak Quesadillas for School Lunches. That won't have ramifications on the line. In fact, the damage has already been done. The government spends billions every year on American cheese, an industry that knowingly overproduces, not to mention pollutes the environment, in the face of declining demand. Truly the American dream. On top of all that, we still import more cheese from Europe than we export in total to every country because Americans are stupid and I've given up trying to defend our country. One thing is for sure though, it will be a cold day in hell when America's cheese reserves run dry. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody. Government cheese make the best grilled cheese you'd have never had in your life. Eating a steady diet of government cheese.